Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today I have another haul for you guys and this one just so happens to be farmhouse theme because I found so many farmhouse items which is really cool because usually Dollar Tree jumps on like what's in way too late like with the unicorn stuff when it was really really hot they really didn't put out much unicorn stuff and now that it's kind of not so popular you see unicorns all over at Dollar Tree so I'm really impressed that they are actually on trend right now. But before we get into this week's haul I did want to mention some items that I hauled before. I've seen so many comments of people saying that certain things didn't work for them and one of the biggest things was something that I hauled a long time ago and it's back in stores now which is the little Dollar Tree fans. You see them everywhere when you're checking out. So everybody was telling me that they're garbage and that they don't work and I was so so sad. So I finally put batteries in them and girl. So if you see these, I guess it's a gamble, but it did work for me. The only downfall that I see is that this part comes off extremely easily, but other than that, for a dollar to have something that is kid friendly because the propellers are foam, this is a great buy. So moving on to this week's haul. Our next item. Dun 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 dun. These little signs are adorable. I've seen so many people haul them and usually the one that I see says, welcome to our home. So I really liked this one. It said, bless this home. I really wish this was a lot bigger so that I can put it up on my wall, but I think I'm just gonna put it up on that little shelf that I made. I found a ton of farmhouse themed wall art, which is really weird because every time I go to the store, they have one in one store, one in the other, but this store had a ton all together. So the first one is this one with the truck that says Farm Fresh. Look how beautiful that looks. I love that it's wood in the background. I personally like to remove the glass off of this so there's no glare. The next one is more fall theme, but I still think it qualifies as farmhouse. It's got all of the pumpkins and it says welcome friends. So to me, this reminds me of like a fall harvest, but I still think it totally applies. This one says farm fresh and grown with love. I think it's really pretty. Again, with the wood background, it just looks very pretty and rustic and totally fits the theme. This one was definitely one of my favorites. It looks super authentic and like something you'd see outside of a farmer's market. And again, with the wood background, I just think it's so lovely. And the last one that I purchased was this one with the rooster on it. I love the colors. I love that it's bright. I love the dark background and they all have the common theme of the wood background. So these are definitely going up on my wall. I finally found the decorative nautical rope at Dollar Tree. Now, if you have a big project, I don't recommend using this because you'd have to buy a ton of bundles. It's cheaper to go somewhere like Home Depot or Walmart and buying it in bundle than buying a ton of these, but I can totally understand why people do it when they're doing Dollar Tree DIYs. You don't want people complaining that it's not authentically Dollar Tree, but sometimes Dollar Tree isn't always the better buy. While this is a good amount because it's 13 feet, you might want to consider going elsewhere but it's still really really nice I have no complaints about it just consider that when crafting I thought this was super duper cute it totally gave me elementary school vibes it is a little lunch tray I really really wish that it was like that silver or like that metal looking so that it really looked like I wouldn't say elementary school it would probably look more like prison the animals the animals trap 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 till the cage is full but I think it would look really cute and really nice in a DIY. Either way, super cute, and this can always be spray painted, or, or you can keep them around for barbecues so people have a little tray to put their stuff on, and then you just stick it in the dishwasher afterwards instead of throwing out disposable plates. So the next item I purchased isn't supposed to be farmhouse theme, it's supposed to be a kitchen item, but it's so cute, and I think so much can be done with it. It's this miniature colander, look how cute it is. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I might just use it for what it's supposed to be used for, but it's so cute and looks so decorative. It looks like my daughter should be playing with this. In fact, I wish they had like a little tiny pan and stuff like that so that I can DIY her a little kitchen. Speaking of my daughter, I always, always, always purchase coloring books because it is real hard to entertain a two-year-old. So I always purchase activity books and coloring books and she goes at it. 
I also found this, which I was really impressed by. It is this sketch pad and colored pencils. When I was a kid, any art supply was actually pretty expensive, and the ones that you found at the Dollar Tree were awful. So I'm actually quite impressed. I started sketching out some stuff already, and I really like the quality of everything. So this brings 40 sheets, and these just bring 10 color pencils. So if you have anybody in your family or a friend that's really artistic, they might appreciate this. So because I give my little artist the tools to be creative, she has decided to be creative all over my walls and my TV. So I was really, really happy to find Magic Erasers at Dollar Tree. I do buy the Dollar Tree brand that brings three in a pack, but what I have noticed is that even though they clean the exact same way, they wear out pretty quickly, whereas these, I've cleaned my tub, I've cleaned my walls, I've cleaned everything with just one and still have left over. The Dollar Tree ones don't last as long, but still you're getting three, so that's a good buy. But when I see the Mr. Clean brand, I always purchase it because it just lasts a little bit longer. I also found a Brillo brand erase and wipe. I haven't tried it yet, but I really like that it has like the little Brillo pad in the back. I know Magic Eraser does that as well, but I just wanted to try it. I like that it's angled. I don't know if you can tell. So it's probably easier to get to some corners with this kind of design. More on the farmhouse theme, I love this. I've seen it before and just walked right by it because I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But this little lantern, first of all, it's a really nice size. Second of all, it's one of the nicest lanterns that they've put out in a long time. I love it. It reminds me of Dominican Republic. When the lights would go out, my aunt would bust out with something that looked like this, but much bigger, obviously. I also purchased this one, which this one they've carried forever. And you can find all of these in your gardening aisle for the most part, but sometimes I see it in really random aisles. And then I picked up another one of these, which is the one that I used when I made the 23 inch lantern. And to me, this looks a little bit like a Moroccan lantern. I really wish that these were a lot bigger. So I've been looking at more of the snack aisles at Dollar Tree, and this week I found the original teddy bear cookies. And I think this is the maple kind. The maple kind, yeah. No, sorry, it's the honey kind. And then I also picked up the chocolate chip. So I don't know which one came first, this or Teddy Grahams. Either way, they're delicious. And look at the size of this thing. It brings a ton of cookies. My mom used to use these growing up to clean our kitchen. She would always reuse these. So when I saw these in stores, I was really, really happy. It reminded me of my childhood. That's so weird that a cleaning product would remind me of my childhood. But basically, one pack equals one roll, and you can use this to wipe down and clean everything. I use this in my kitchen. Was so happy to find it. Speaking of cleaning products, I picked up this Lysol disinfectant, and the scent is Hawaiian Sunset. I think it smells amazing, and I keep it in my bathroom when it's time to refresh the toilet bowl. And I really like buying like the travel size of things. So I just like the size of it. Sometimes I don't want big, bulky containers. I really don't need them, especially in my bathroom area since I don't have a lot of storage, so this is perfect for me. And I also purchased some Goo Gone adhesive. I love this stuff. Sometimes when I post DIYs, because of the way that the sun hits, I have to place stuff on certain walls and that's not where they're going to stay. So I use a lot of mounting tape and this takes all of that right away. Command strips are really, really expensive, so to use that for just a few seconds of filming, mm -mm. So I use the mounting tape and remove it with this with no issue. I purchased this pet brush and it has a brush on one side and a comb on another. Now I usually buy the ones that don't have the white ends and that's supposed to be if your dog is really matted, which mine is always matted, but she likes this a lot better. Right? So at least this one isn't complete torture for her. She actually <laughs> lets you do it. And she looks so fluffy afterwards. Look at this. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, I'm Gigi. Hi, I'm Gigi. Hi, I'm Gigi. So that's it for me. I hope that you enjoy this haul. Please let me know in the comments below what you're going to be on the lookout for and what you would do with some of these items because I am stumped on what I want to do so far. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and till next time. Till next time. Meow.